Being from a family of police officers and lawyers probably makes it difficult for a single family member to go missing. But here we are. Jack Reagan appeared in over 180 episodes of Blue Bloods, but according to fans' observations, he's been noticeably absent since the 2021 episode Hate is Hate. Before that, he only appeared in one episode in 2020, Atonement. Here's everything we know about his mysterious and sudden absence. First up, for those of you who don't know him, here's an introduction to Jack Reagan's character. His real-life brother, Andrew Tarasiano, plays his fiction brother Sean Reagan on the popular television show, which helps to explain the striking resemblance between the two. As previously stated, the last time fans saw Jack was in the season 12 premiere episode. Within the context of the show, Jack wishes to become a doctor or a marine, but his father Danny persuades him to attend college and consider his options and future. Moving on, Tony Tarazziano, like his character, is busy with college. In an interview with CBS News, Tony Tarazziano explained that the television series filming schedule would interfere with his education, but both he and his brother said that Wahlberg is an absolute goofball on set. He teaches the siblings a lot. Fortunately for Blue Bloods fans, Jack was not killed off the show. But why has he been absent for so long, and why are there large gaps in his appearances? In the story of Blue Bloods, Jack Reagan leaves for college in the episode Thicker Than Water in 2018, and after that, he's hardly made any appearances on the show. According to a 2018 Country Living article, the actor who plays Jack Reagan attended college in real life, which was confirmed by a CBS representative. Tony Tarazziano will appear on the show as his schedule allows, according to the article, and has not been written off. To the delight of fans, his potential return was teased by a Twitter post in 2021, which featured the character returning for one of the show's famous family dinner scenes. Because the character has not yet been officially written off of the show, and given the facts we know about the actor in real life, there's still a chance for him to return to Blue Bloods in a larger capacity once his schedule allows. We may even see the next generation of Reagan law enforcement agents take shape if Jack eventually chooses to follow in his family's footsteps. Since Blue Bloods has already been renewed for two more seasons, we might get to see a lot more of Jack Reagan in the future. Next up, other famous actors that appeared on Blue Bloods. Over the last dozen or so seasons, the adventure crime drama series Blue Bloods has opened its doors to a wide variety of famous and used-to-be famous actors. This long list includes Oscar nominees as well as some other unlikely faces. Method Man anyone? A lot of famous television stars have also made their way to Blue Bloods, including a few Emmy winners, at least three people from The Sopranos, and a really good chunk of the cast of the drama series ER, namely Gloria Rubin, Anthony Edwards, Alex Kingston, and Michael Michelle. Goldberg appeared in three episodes of Blue Bloods, once in 2016, once in 2017, and once in 2020. Regina Thomas, her character, is the speaker of the New York City Council and at times a major thorn in Frank Reagan's side. Conneval has appeared in a number of other television shows as a guest star, including a three-episode arc on Blue Bloods in 2010 and 2011. Though his gruff voice and imposing frame would have been ideal for playing a villain, Conneval played a district attorney named Charles Rosalini on the show. Method Man, real name Clifford Method Man Smith, played gang member Mario Hunt on Blue Bloods, who was first introduced in a 2015 episode where he was suspected of murder. He returned the following season, and then again in 2017, when a gang leader sought an early release from prison in exchange for aid in ending a gang war. Finally, Blue Bloods will be getting the renewal we've all been waiting for. Viewers of the hit CBS drama were getting him patient waiting for news of the show's future. With just two episodes remaining in season 12, and there's been no announcement of a renewal, but CBS confirmed on April 26 that the hit drama Blue Bloods had been renewed for the 2022 and 2023 television season. The show's return will make this its 13th year on the network. Though the characters' lives have changed dramatically over the course of the show's first 12 seasons, fans can always count on two things. Each episode will include a Sunday evening family dinner, and each episode will feature a thrilling case for one of the family members to solve. There's no word on which of the stars will be returning, but we're hoping for all of them. It has also not been announced when the next season will premiere. We're just glad to have this confirmed before the season finale on May 6th. The premiere episode of season 13 will air on CBS on October 7th, 2022, according to the official Blue Bloods Twitter account. The episode, titled Keeping the Faith, will feature three major plot lines involving Eddie and Jamie, Frank and Aaron, in that order. Those looking for an early look at the season 13 premiere will be pleased to know that several intriguing stills from the episode have been released. On the show's Instagram account, the team also shared a snippet of a hilarious Season 13 interaction between Aaron and Anthony. Now, on to other news. First up, entertainment executives interested Chad Powers' TV show with Eli Manning per report. Eli Manning's budding media career took off earlier this week when his portrayal of Chad Powers, a 26-year-old quarterback trying out as a walk-on at Penn State, went viral. Manning, disguised as the long-haired and outrageous Powers, pranked the Penn State coaching staff to rave reviews during ESPN's Eli's Places. Powers has received such 
a positive response that everyone, from the general public to media executives, are pleading for more. According to TMZ Sports, Peyton Manning's Omaha Productions has been flooded with requests to produce more Chad Powers content, the most ambitious of which is a TV show based on the character. A Chad Powers TV show would be similar to the hit show Ted Lasso, which follows an American football coach who is hired to manage an English soccer club. More information, including whether or not Powers content was on the horizon, was not provided. Next up, Athena brings French violence to Netflix. Director Romain Gavra, who made his name with striking music videos for Kanye West and MIA, brings an explosive vision of French inner city unrest to Netflix on Friday. Athena, which depicts France devolving into civil war as a result of riots over police brutality, echoes recent unsettling trends, such as the Yellow Vest protests and the rise of the far right. The director, who is the son of the legendary and highly political French Greek filmmaker Costa Gavra, insists that the film is not intended to influence anyone. He told AFP during the Venice Film Festival, where the film got its world premiere earlier this month, that they never really know whether films have an impact on people, but for him personally, it was Marlon Brando who made him want to start smoking. He added that despite his own experience being influenced by Brando, he didn't know if watching a film could stop someone who's angry. From its first frames, Athena plunges the audience into the rage and tumult of an inner city suburb where riots break out over the death of a young man at the hands of the police. Fanned by the far right, the unrest ends up dragging the whole country into a civil war. Athena bears comparison with La Haine, a hugely successful tale from 1995 about the unrest in the Paris suburbs, but its heightened imagery has a lot more in common with mythological Hollywood films such as Apocalypse Now or Gladiator. What makes this situation all the more tragic is that France's strict rules, aimed at curbing the influence of streaming platforms, means Athena can't be shown in French cinemas, but it'll be getting a limited theatrical release in other countries. Gavra said that the film could not have been made without Netflix, while adding his great dismay that it will not be shown on the big screen in his home country. Lastly, Greg Davies to co-star in Alex Horn's new TV show. Alex Horn will return to his role as Taskmaster Greg Davies in his new Channel 4 show, The Horn Section TV Show. Tim Key and John Oliver, who is a regular special guest, will also appear in the show, which Avalon describes as unruly, ridiculous, and surprisingly satisfying. Their exact roles have yet to be announced. Desiree Birch, a fellow comedian and former Taskmaster contestant, will play Alex's frustrated producer, Georgia Tennant from Staged will play a Channel 4 executive, and Camille Ukon will be the talk show's researcher. Martin Kemp, Big Zoo, Imogen Heap, Annika Rice, and Dr. Ranj Singh will also make appearances on the show, Channel 4 announced today. And that's a wrap for this video. Do you think we'll get to see Jack Reagan in the upcoming season of Blue Bloods? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Goodbye for now, and see you in the next one.